Hi, CMH visitors. My name is Lisa Williams, and I'm the Director of Gallery Programs here at the Children's Museum, Houston. Today's story time is brought to you thanks to our friends at Phillips 66. Today's story is entitled, Bruno Has 100 Friends. Bruno Has 100 Friends by Francesca Perone. Bruno is on his way to go fishing with his friends. When on the road, he finds a strange object. What is that? Curious, he picks it up. As soon as he's got it in his hand, it flashes bright. How beautiful, Bruno thinks. Renzo calls out to him. Where are you? We are waiting for you. Go ahead. I'll catch up to you, Bruno answers. He lies down and starts inspecting the strange box. Inside, Bruno finds extraordinary things. Pictures he's never seen, words he's never read, sounds he's never heard. But above all, so many friends. Renzo and Rico come back to see what Bruno is up to. What have you got there, they ask. Look, Bruno replies, and full of pride, he shows them the magical box. I think it's called a phone. What's it for, the other bears ask. It's for making lots of friends, Bruno answers. But we're your friends. Renzo and Rico exclaim, yes, but there's only two of you. Now I've got at least 100 friends all over the world. From that moment on, Bruno is always busy with his phone. From early in the morning till late in the evening, he's chatting, watching movies, or listening to music, and his list of friends is growing. Renzo and Rico are worried. They want to have their old friend back. So they invited him to go and collect honey together and to have a picnic in the forest. They've packed all of Bruno's favorite snacks, but it's all in vain. Bruno has no interest in anything but his phone. He is too busy for anyone else. But then something happens. The magical box doesn't light up anymore. What happened? Bruno asked himself aloud. Where are all my friends? He gives the phone a shake. Bruno is worried. He runs outside and holds the phone high above his head turning it this way and that. I bet you he's trying to see how many bars he has. He runs until he comes upon Renzo and Rico. What are you doing, they ask. I'm trying to get reception before I lose all my friends. I had close to 500 and now they're all gone. Tears are flowing down Bruno's cheeks.
Renzo and Rico gather up Bruno in a big hug. I was wrong, Bruno says, staring at his feet in shame. You are my real friends. That's right, Renzo and Rico are laughing. We will always be right here for you. And now, let's go and have some fun, Rico says. Yes, Bruno exclaims. Who needs 100 virtual friends when I have the two of you? And that's the end. I know that so many of you right now are using all of your technology to deal with what we're dealing with in this world, but spend some time with your family and your loved ones. Do some things that you wouldn't normally do. Play some board games, watch your favorite movie. It's important that we show each other how much we love each other because that's one way that helps us to deal with our stress. Thank you for tuning in. See you next time.